you on my right wing Now you love, now you're casual And you text me in the morning, you're available Am I, am I dreaming? Can't believe I forgot this feeling Finally found the one in my life that I wanna be with No more seeking I'm sure, I'm sure I'll always choose you first You're my baby, it's true, it's true. You're so damn worth it There's no one like you Hello everyone. It has been so long since I sat down and actually filmed a video. I think maybe it's been almost two weeks. I've been churning out all of the Japan content. So I have been deep in editing mode and just, you know, trying to get everything together. Marco and I are actually leaving for Korea in a few weeks and also leaving for the Philippines. So I'm very excited. We're going to Seoul first for a few days and then we will be in Manila where I will be spending some time with family. Um, it's not going to be a super long trip in the Philippines, but I do have a good amount of time. So I'm hoping that if I run into any of you that are in Manila, please say hi. It will be four years since I was last in the Philippines and I am just very excited. I was actually born in the Philippines and moved here when I was eight. And I remember getting <laughs> made fun of in school for my accent because I had like a Tagalog accent, Filipino accent, whatever you want to call it. And so I was adamant about only speaking English to my mom so I could erase that accent. And now as I'm older, I'm so glad that my mom, actually my family, made sure that I wouldn't forget my Tagalog. So we're gonna incorporate a little Tagalog here because I am trying to practice for the trip. So I'm so happy to partner with Rosetta Stone. I can now practice my Italian, learn French. I've been telling myself this ever since my first Paris trip. What I love about Rosetta Stone is that there is a lifetime subscription and you don't have to worry about renewal fees. And it's a great way for you to learn a language now that maybe is relevant to a trip you have coming up and say later on you have another trip to another country and you want to learn that language you don't have to worry about a renewal fee you have access to all of these different languages so i want to brush up on my italian i want to actually learn french i need to spruce up on my tagalog eventually i want to learn korean because i watch so many korean dramas and what's great about rosetta stone is that you can learn at your pace because you're not limited to a time restriction very immersive tool where they show you different methods in terms of how to learn a language, I feel like it's very similar to school because I can't go off of direct translation to translation. You really have to have a flow of conversation and that's what I really like about the Rosetta Stone app. With the voice feature, it helps me work on my pronunciation. So let me give you guys a little demonstration. Mga Sobre. 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 Email. Email. Oh, that accent wasn't Desk. that good. It's so funny because I'm like, yeah, I'm fluent in Tagalog. And then I got on this app and I was like, I'm not. So thank you so much to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to practice. Marco and I are practicing together. It is much harder to get into a language as an adult, but it's been an enjoyable process for me to, you know, use the apps and practice. And I also think it's such a flex when you know multiple languages fluently. So yeah, um, my code will be linked down below as well as over here on the screen. So once again, thank you so much to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring a portion of this video. So first I'm going to answer some emails. Wait, let me try and speak this. Tapos mamaya, ishishare ko yung mga idadala ko sa Pilipinas. Mga pasalubong, tapos mga... Oh, I can't take myself seriously when I'm speaking Tagalog. I feel like it's not that good. But we are working on it, thanks to Rosetta Stone. So, later. got ready. Pilates class in about an hour and a half, but I wanted to do 
a rough little breakdown of the things that will be going with me to the Philippines. I might do a packing video. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's too repetitive with Japan. It might be, so I don't know. But I'm just like still waiting for certain things to come in because I did pick up a couple of linen pieces. Um, the one that I have here is just a pair of pants from J. Crew. And then I did order a couple of things from Dish as well. So hopefully that comes later this week and I can throw it into the vlog. But just like some good linen trousers. The Philippines is hot. It's so hot and it's also July. So it's, it's not going to be fun temperature wise. Unless I'm like by a pool or a beach. I don't think I have time for a beach trip this time around. So, you know, I just like to be in comfortable things. I also ordered some stuff from Monday Swim, also still on the way. So clothing wise, I can't really show you guys much, but definitely packing my SPF because uh, I love Supergoop. So that's coming with me because that traffic is also so bad. So definitely bringing my Kindle with me. Definitely also bringing my Leica. I mean, I'm packing for Seoul and the Philippines. I'm pretty sure temperature wise, they're pretty similar. I want to say that Seoul is going to be a little bit more fast paced like Japan because there's a lot of things that Marco and I want to see and do. I did book a personal color appointment for Marco and I, so I'm very excited for this. And I'm hoping that it doesn't, you know, trip me up too much. If they tell me like, I got to start wearing bright pinks, I'd be like, well, probably not. Um, I did end up selling my Prada straw bag because someone messaged me about it and I was like, yeah. So I didn't really have a beach bag and I didn't want to get another designer beach bag, but I still wanted something that was like cute and easy to tote around, but also one that was made of good material. So Ame has this one and I just thought it was really cute. Same vibe as Prada, obviously, but not a Prada price tag. And then from net a -Porter, I did an order, got these on sale. I got the Ginza slides from the row and this is what they look like. Just black with some velvet. I think this is probably going to be my footwear for Philippines. And of course going to bring sneakers. I need to start working on my PowerPoint, but um, I also need to do a Target run because I'm bringing a second luggage to pack a bunch of things for my family. So if you're going home to the Philippines, bring an extra luggage for things that you want to bring back. And I will also be stocking up on things to bring back home to family and friends here as well. So that's kind of the way it goes when it comes to traveling back home, but I honestly am so excited. Uh, because this is a family trip, I, Marco and I have started talking to some of our friends about doing a friends trip. That's kind of like in the works. Trip has not left the group chat. We'll see if it actually does, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. Okay, I'm gonna get to a bit of work and then we'll head off to Bloody. After Pilates, did grocery shopping, and then just cleaned up around the house, did laundry. Um, but today, I'm heading off to the city for a very exciting La Mer facial. You guys know that I love La Mer, and it's like one of my holy grail products, so I'm very excited to head into the city. 
So that's today. And then Marco and I are also getting a little follow-up appointment with our doctor that did our LASIK. Still hands down one of the best things that Marco and I ever did. But um wanted to show you all my Sony ZV-E1 that Sony sent over. So the rundown with this, I've had this camera probably like five times. A few months ago, I went to camera camp with Sony where they debuted the Sony ZV-E1. And I loved the camera so much. They gave us one to play around with during camera camp. And it was basically everything I was looking for for a camera. And with the Asia trips that were coming up, I knew that I wanted to have this. So I actually ended up pre-ordering it right after camera camp, but then it wasn't going to be delivered until after Japan. So Sony actually loaned me this camera for my trip. And then once I got back, I shipped it back to Sony. And then my camera that I pre-ordered arrived. And then Sony booked me for a campaign. We worked on content together and they're like, oh, we're gonna give you a camera. Luckily, the one that I pre-ordered, I didn't use yet because I was waiting to go to Korea and the Philippines to use it. Um, so I just, sent that back, got my refund, and I finally got the one that Sony gifted me. So the one that I shot with when I filmed the content for my Sony campaign, that was also a loan. So this is my camera camp, the loaner, the one I pre-ordered, the loaner for the campaign, and this one. This is my fifth Sony ZV-E1. Didn't do the kit lens for this one. I, I got a 24 2.8 lens on this, and I really like it. So this is coming with me to Seoul and Manila as well. If you are not interested in a camera, like you are just starting on your vlogging journey and you are not interested in interchangeable lenses just yet, which is totally understandable because once you get into lenses, it's like a whole nother beast and they cost money. Like I have three lenses in my arsenal that I absolutely love and the one that I'm filming on right now is my 14-1.8 and then I also have my 24-1.4 and I have my 24 2.8, which is this one. These are the lenses that I love to use. And so a vlogging camera that could handle my interchangeable lenses was something that I was really excited about. But if you were just starting, they did release the Sony ZV-1, which is my favorite, but an upgraded version. So it now comes with a wider lens and I believe there's just like more technology in it. And I'm pretty sure that they improved the stabilization because that's something that I was struggling with with my ZV-1. So yeah, um, I'm actually very curious about it. I do want to check it out. So maybe I'll head to Best Buy and take a look at it and see what it's looking like and compare because if you are just starting and you want something light, compact, easy, don't need to fuss with extra lenses. They incorporated the technology in this camera into that little body that's gonna be an amazing camera. I think that one is priced a little bit higher, but if you are looking for something that is a little bit more beginner, they have the ZV-1F. All right, that's it for me. I'm gonna go get ready. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.